Hi, in this example, I'd like to show you just how easy it is to create a tabletop inlay using ArtCam Insignia. So here we have my design for my tabletop and all of these pieces are going to be inlays. So that's just a 2D geometry and I'm going to go into my tool paths and I'm going to create an inlay and it's going to be a female pocket and I'll just type in the finished depth of 13 millimeters I'm going to select a finishing tool and I'm going to use 6 millimeter M and I'm also going to use a roughing tool because using the 6 millimeter and mill will take quite a while just to rough out all of this part as it's quite big. If I click here, you can see it's 600 millimeters square. So it take quite a while to cut that out using just a 6 millimeter end mill. So I can select a roughing tool for this, which saves you quite a lot of time. So I'll use 16 millimeter end mill to rough this out, and I'll leave the material at 25 millimeters and just select the inner vectors and click calculate now so there you can see it's created my roughing toolpath and then it's created just a finishing toolpath just around the edge here so if I just close that there and choose simulation then you can see that's roughing the part out and it's doing all the roughing cuts and finally the finishing pass using the 6mm end mill. So there we have our table pockets. I'm just going to create a profile just to cut the part out. Just use the same 16mm tool and ArtCam automatically works to the finished depth of the material and I'm going to do a profile outside. I could also do it along or inside. If you wanted to create a nice edge along this using a particular cutter, you could just select along and it would machine down to the depth that you would specify. And then you could cut this part out afterwards. I'm just going to go into the 2D view and select my profile and calculate that. Go back onto the 3D view and I'm just going to simulate the profile. So there that's cut the part out and that's my tabletop ready to have all of the pieces fitted into it. So I'm just going to switch over to here now and these are my pieces to fit into that particular tabletop. Here you can see I am using a sheet that is 2 metres by 2 metres and these are my parts that I want to machine. So I could just move these to here say for instance and just cut those out. This would not be very practical. Let's say for instance if I had an order for let's say 20 tabletops and I was to just copy these like so. I can't fit that one in there, so I'll just copy that one there and those there like that. So there you can see I've just copied those quite quickly and you can see that this is wasting a lot of material. I'm probably wasting half of the actual material that I want to use. So I'm just going to undo these and I'm going to show you nesting so this will maximize all of the material so if I select my parts and choose nesting just come over to here make sure that I use the same diameter tool that I used to create the inlay so it's going to be a 6 millimeter diameter tool and I'll just use the same for the clearances I can rotate the parts just so it fits a little bit better. So I'll use a rotation angle of 15 degrees. 
and I'm not going to group these parts because I want each part individually and I want to create 20 parts of each and I'll click next then you can see that's nested all of my parts onto my sheet and I still have a little bit of the sheet left over here so I could undo that and select say for instance 100 parts and this would go across multiple sheets automatically maximizing all of the sheets so this will save time as in the operator of the machine having to load and unload material setting up time and also the wastage of the material will be minimized so I can close that now and I'm just going to select all of these parts and I'm going to create another inlay but this time it's going to be a male straight and the finished depth of this is going to be 13 millimeters which is the same size as the material and the depth in the tabletop pockets I'm going to select a tool which is going to have to be the same tool that I used to do the inlay which was the 6 millimeter m mil, and click calculate now so there we have all of my parts cut out and I'm just going to simulate these now just rotate that round and there you can see this is maximizing the coverage of the sheet so those are all my tabletop inserts and this has created 20 parts of each for me so you can see this is quite a time saving and money saving operation